aside from breaking my dog, who apparently is dragging behind me, today's morning skate is going great. Today is Tuesday, and welcome back to Level Grinding. Oh boy, street skates are nice and fun. Oh, nothing burns calories quite like a street skate and nothing gives you helmet hair or kind of like a street skate. So I am now here, I'm getting out of my gear, this whole wonderful stuff that keeps me protected. And while I am doing this, I'm getting frustrated at it. Um, while I'm doing this, I am mentally getting ready for my work day. Today is Tuesday. Uh, all of my planning is done from yesterday, so that means that today is manufacturing. Um, the primary thing that I have on my to-do list today is getting the rough draft finished for Denver 3D Print. Um, so hopefully I will have that out the door today. I gotta go hunting through my email because I think there's a link with some files in it that I forgot about, so I need to go find that. Um, and then I also have the fun issue of trying to problem solve my internet, because apparently Xfinity is doing something today where they're upgrading something and... Yeah, one of my clients runs off of my internet pool. Um, I'm doing a photo archive for them. I'm in the process of getting ready to give this back to them. And so now their whole system has reset this morning um, because we had to turn the modem off to check something on Denver Rescue Mission site because that's when Robo found out that it wasn't working right. So I've got other stuff to do today that I was not planning on. Hooray! I finally have my two monitors hooked back up again, which means that I can be doing exactly what I'm doing right now. Running a YouTube tutorial on how to make a timer countdown. I need this for the piece of footage that I have rendering right here right now. Um, I'm going to take this into After Effects, add a zero zero countdown timer, or actually a count up timer, because I need that inside this sequence so that you can see how much time is elapsing while he's busy building a box. Sometimes the fun of manufacturing is that you get to learn new things and also it's the frustration of waiting for other stuff to do its thing so you can move on. For me, as much as all of this stuff is problem solving and all of this stuff is frustrating, this is also where I like to be. I am in production mode. I am in my editing system. I am learning new techniques on YouTube to be able to apply to my videos and I am having fun. This is why I'm building my business. This is why I'm working so hard to find clients because this is my happy spot. My other happy spot is also on skates, but if I'm gonna work all day, this is where I'd rather be. Welcome to Wednesday. It is another day of manufacturing. Yesterday, yesterday I didn't actually finish anything out because I got stuck in two problems. One, I was trying to solve a glitch or error or something I didn't make right in my animation software in After Effects. So I was following a tutorial, everything looked great. And then when I went to go spit everything out, it didn't do what it was supposed to do. So I spent like an hour and a half on that trying to problem solve it before realizing it was eating up all of my time to get the rest of the video done. So I quit that, worked on the rest of the video, and then towards the end of the day, just hit another roadblock. And this one was editing decision related, just coming to the end of my decision making process and going, I am stumped. I don't know how to solve this. So I called it quits. Thankfully it was six o'clock at that point. So, you know, good time to call it quits. Had supper and then my neighbor came over and I helped her with a video project. I've been helping her out over the past week and a half with a training video that she needed to make. And it's just been a real nightmare for her. So I jumped in, started to help her out. And the thing that I like about it is that I was able to share what I do with somebody else and to benefit them. I love when I get paid for that, definitely. But I also love when, ah, sprinklers. Okay, I love when I have the opportunity to give what I know to somebody else, um, especially when it comes to video editing. Like, I love what I do, and I love making people's lives easier by teaching them how to do what I do. And so being able to help my neighbor out in a big way was really, really nice, um, you know, because I was able just to do it for the fun of it and to 
get her something that was really good. And as a result, two bonuses that I was not expecting. Number one, she wants me to write up a proposal to come in and teach her and her other employee how to use a video editing tool to be able to create their trainings because she's tired of doing this in PowerPoint, which if you're trying to create training videos in PowerPoint, you should be tired of it. Um, and she also got me a membership to the Denver Art Museum for a year, and I'm just like super stoked about it. I wasn't expecting either of these things when I started helping her out, but they are the unexpected blessings and gifts for passing on kindness. And I really believe that this is how the world works best. It's the reason why I'm open with information. It's the reason why I share my network. It's the reason why I keep lists of who does what, because I believe in putting people together with the right resources. and. Sometimes it comes back around. So I'm going to finish out my walk here and I'm going to get back and get into manufacturing. Over the years, I've helped a lot of people turn their ideas into viable products and replicate them. Since the beginning, my processes have required me to build silicone molds, and that's where I stumbled onto a huge problem. I was spending up to a half an hour every time I built a box. Oh boy, so I have been in production mode all morning and I am making progress on this thing. Um, I mentioned it. Oh, good grief. When was it? A while ago about how sometimes you get to a point in a project and you just have to stop, look away from it for a while, come back to it, and then the solution presents itself. And this is definitely, definitely something that has just happened because I've already been making some really good progress. I've been solving some of the issues that I've had and I'm really liking how this is turning out. Um, but I wanted to bring up this point while I was busy editing. I, I was just waiting for a render to happen and then it finished. And so I decided to keep recording anyway. Um, but basically, um, today's manufacturing, yesterday was manufacturing, tomorrow's going to be manufacturing. If you are going to be doing anything with your life, if you are going to be spending some considerable time working for somebody else, working for yourself, you better make sure that one, you are compensated well for it, which goes to pricing yourself. But the other big thing is that you better ensure that you actually like it. This goes back to the video that I made for Monday about how you need to love your Monday. And if you're not loving Monday, something's wrong. Today is not Monday for me in terms of doing all of that high level accounting and strategic work, but it is manufacturing. And this is the part that a lot of people end up hating about their jobs is the fact that they get in, they start doing work and they just hate what they're doing. And so for me, this is why I went into business because I want to do what I love. And this that I'm doing right now on my computer is what I love. I love storytelling. I love editing. And this is why I went into business for myself. And so my encouragement to you is that if you don't like the manufacturing that you're in, whatever that be, graphic design, working for other people, flipping hamburgers, you know, literally working in a manufacturing company, then you need to think of other ways to start transitioning out of that and into something that you love. Uh, but right now, now that my render is finished, as evidenced by the fact that my video is playing, I need to get back into what I love. Oh, uh, it's five of three. Oh, and this is nearly finished. Look at this beautiful timeline. I'm so happy about this. This looks great. And I have just this little bit left to do something with. The things that you see here and here don't really count. They're just bleeds over from other stuff I've been doing. But yeah, 30 more seconds to edit. Oh, I need to get this done. Come on, I need to make time fly. Although I should probably take a quick break as my next work block is ending in five minutes. Maybe we'll make this break really short.
Okay, break is over. Back to work. It's finally rendering. Yay. <clears throat> Welcome to Thursday. It's my third day of manufacturing this week, and I have a lot of stuff that I need to get done today. Um, my Kickstarter edit ended up taking a lot longer this week than it was supposed to, and so that's just pushed a whole bunch of stuff out. So I need to work really hard and really quickly today. This is where staying on top of my productivity tips is going to be beneficial because it will help me to just chunk through everything that I got to do today. Um, but speaking of things that I got to do today, one of them is the creative warnings video. I normally like to have that online a week after the event and it is now two weeks after the event. Um, again, this Kickstarter video has been kicking my butt. So I'm gonna be working on that. But the first thing that I'm gonna do before I even open up my editing software is that I'm going to design what's called a workflow. A workflow is the set of steps, the set of systems that you need to do before you execute to start a task. Um, it's very similar to the getting things done method of, um, Oh, what's it called? Um, basically, um, David Allen has the idea that, okay, you start with the task, you put it at the top, and then you start breaking it down into its individual components. What do you actually need to do? So like if it's, I need to get the oil changed in the car. So oil changing is the task, like the goal, but now you start listing the tasks out. And that could be anywhere from call the mechanic and schedule a time, drop the car off, go pick up the car, pay for the bill. Like there's a bunch of things that are in that task, even though it's very simply stated as get the oil change in the car. And so for this thing, it's also very similar. It is put a video online, but first I need to take footage off of certain cameras. I need to put it through different software. I need to go pull slides out of a presentation. Like these are all things that take time. And if I do them in the wrong order, I'm gonna waste a lot of time. And so by taking a few minutes to plot out on paper, what do I need to do? What is the most efficient method? Then I can just hit execute and I can work my way through this flow of process to get this video done. So I'm gonna start my day off by doing that. Um, get going, cause I really need to go. And I just thought this would be really cool. Here's a quick look at the workflow that I have set up. Basically, it goes down step by step. What do I need to do? And also gives me some ideas like I'm going to be doing and letting a piece of software run to sync up some audio and video. So while that's happening, I'm going to work with a PowerPoint and export some slides out. But this is what this would look like. And this kind of planning, just saying, OK, what do I need to do? What is it? What do I need to do? What is it? What's the next step is going to help me get through this a lot faster. And it's because I have reminded myself of things like, for example, go get the PowerPoint, export out the slides, log into Flickr, go get a portrait. Like, these are things that when I don't remember them, I forget them and they just bug up the work. So I'm going to start executing. Yes, that says 3.30. This project took way longer than it was supposed to have. Holy moly. Probably the thing that I hate the most about manufacturing days is when stuff goes wrong. I'm dead serious, the amount of stuff that has gone wrong with this project has really been taking me off. Holy crap. So, in addition to editing today, I had to put on my IT hat and troubleshoot. This is the one thing about being in business for yourself that I think a lot of people underestimate. When you go into business for yourself, you think that everything's gonna be hunky-dory, you think that you can work in your pajamas, you think that you're just gonna be able to execute stuff all the time, and it's gonna be fantastic. And what a lot of people don't realize is that when you work by yourself, you gotta do everything. You don't have an IT guy that you can call on to come fix your computer. If something goes wrong, you gotta figure it out. You still have to make up the time after you fix all the problems to get your project done. Um, you know, if you work at home, you have to clean the bathroom. Like these are all parts about working for yourself. And I think, you know, sometimes we don't talk about this stuff as much. And so I'm really glad to finally have this thing going because it has been a pain in the butt all day. Um, now that it's 3.30, I'm gonna try and move on to some of the other tasks that were supposed to happen. But uh, yeah, we'll see. In the meantime, I gotta get this online once it finishes rendering and hopefully there will not be any problems with that process. After a really crazy day like today, it is time to take some time for self-care, which I don't do very well. So I'm meeting a friend of mine at Wash Park and she is going to run and I'm going to roller skate. 
So, yeah, this is the end of this week's manufacturing. I'm annoyed because I only got two projects done out of a bunch of other stuff that was supposed to happen, but at least those big things are out of the way, and I can focus on these little things next week in addition to making edits to Adam's video. And I just got a message from another client that I worked with previously about cutting some trailers for them. Yeah, things are busy in the world of Renegade Digital Post right now. And I kind of have no idea how this happened. You know, the only annoying part about being in roller skates is the fact that it just takes so freaking long to get into your gear. So anyway, I'm in. I'm going to go find Jenny, and I'm going to have some fun. See y'all. Ciao.